Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. Whew, it is good to be back. Well, is it? I, I've just returned back from a week in the beautiful, stunning isle, island of Cos in Greece. I had to think there where I've actually been, but no, and it was absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love Greece, and it was so, so needed. It really, really was. Um, life has just been incredibly busy, very, very hectic at the moment. I know for a lot of us, and um, I was blessed with that opportunity to be able to do that, and um, it really, really was absolutely incredible. So, back to the channel. Um, took a little bit of a break from the channel. I was going for a really, and on days I do have my low moments. So it should have been Nan's 97th birthday on the 5th of June, and I lost my Nan on the 31st of May, uh, 2021. Very horrifically. Um, my Nan is my life and soul. She really, really is. I am so, so blessed to have the parents I have in this life and have my Nan as my Nan. I have a beautiful, beautiful, blessed family. I really, really do. Mother's Day, um, my uh, it was always mum and nan, always, and and I mean family is absolutely everything to me. And as I say, my mum and my dad are my best friends, and my my nan is always at that parent table. So Mother's Day, what I decided to do is put uh, put uh, towards my mum and dad's trip. So they went off to Cyprus and had a wonderful time. And then I was thinking to myself, you know, I really need to just do something. And I think what we're going to do this now is that every year when it's going to be the anniversary of what was uh, my nan's birthday um, and the, the day my nan left this world is I think now I'm going to make it a vow that every year I'm going to go away because the first anniversary of it, we went to Lanzarote. My mum and I went to Lanzaro uh, Lanzarote, um, the Canary Islands, of course. And um, that was absolutely beautiful. And the reason why I chose Lanzarote is because that was my nan's last place where she holidayed. So I wanted to capture that. Um, and then this year, I love Greece. Growing up, absolutely, my my mum and my dad um, gave us an incredible upbringing. And I got to go to some incredible places around the world. But I always loved, uh, two places in this world I love is Greece and the Caribbean. And Greece, I absolutely love. So roads, Corfu, Paxos, uh, Sikinthos, um, all of them, absolutely love them. Um, and this year, I wanted to do something different. I've been looking at cars for a very, very long time. And do you know what? I never realised that there was places still in Europe, and this sounds sad, doesn't it? But I never actually realised that there was places in uh, Europe, particularly, which were so untouched um, by that commercialisation um, and that tourism hadn't taken over. And do you know what? It's just beautifully untouched. And um, and sometimes that's good, of course, and sometimes that's not so good, but this was good. Um, and I stayed in a place called Lambie, not far from the town, uh, the main town of Cos, and that was absolutely beautiful. And I had an incredible time, and me and my mum had such a laugh. We had some wonderful, wonderful memories. We used the local buses all the way around the island. And it's a beautiful, beautiful island. We got to do some great things, great food. We laughed lots. We met some amazing people. Um, yeah, traditional uh, traditional music, traditional nights. Um, yeah, met, as I say, met some incredible people, some incredible stories. Um, a really, really lovely. And on what would have been my nan's 97th birthday, we went into the old town of Coz, which is absolutely incredible. My nan always loved shopping and she always loved marketplaces and she always loved everything like that. And little sort of traditional shops with little sort of um, trinkets and local items and everything like that. Uh, years ago when Spain was booming in the 80s, and of course still is, but a little bit less commercialised, um, Nan would always go to Spain, and she loved Spain for everything like that, and she loved her holidays. Um, and Nanny went to Greece as well, so it was just perfect, and we... I got the opportunity to go into the beautiful Cos Town uh, Church, and I took pictures, and we went in there, and I prayed, and... Um, and for Nan, and then afterwards, Mum and I, we, we sat down at a beautiful taverna in the old town square, and we had some drinks, and we toasted to Nan's life. And, and this trip was the celebration of my mum's recovery from her major surgery, uh, to celebrate the wonderful life of my Nan and my success in my job, which has been going really, really well. So the whole trip was just incredible. It really, really was. And um, so I'm really happy to report that. And um, I love to use my channel. It's almost like a virtual diary. You'll see that there's ups and downs in my, uh, like there is in all of our lives. Um, and I talk about them and I try and learn from them. And if I can share things with people to be able to help other people overcome difficult situations, um, or just 
words of wisdom, whether it be from my mum, whether it be from a nan, whether it be from me in a difficult time, and, and my mind just sort of clogs away, and I and I and I get these real sort of golden sort of messages or sparks in my head to think, well, actually, that got me throughout. And I love to report that on my channel. I'd love to sort of document that on my channel. So it's really nice to sit here and say, actually, I got the opportunity to go away with one of the most incredible people in the world, my mum, and we celebrated another incredible person, my dear Nan. It breaks my heart that my dad wasn't there and my brothers and things, but he got the opportunity to spend several weeks with mum in Cyprus prior to that. And then when we came back, we had a couple of mum had a couple of days and then we went to COS. Um, very turbulent flight, mind. I have to admit, and I've done a lot of flights, very turbulent flight, but uh, lovely, really, really lovely, I have to admit. And then hopefully later on in the year, we'll all be doing something as a family. So it'd be great to be with dad as well. Okay, so should have been my nan's 97th birthday. Yeah, that's that's hard. And do you know what? It is hard. I am blessed and I'm truly, truly very, very thankful to the Lord above that Nan had the long life she did. I mean, in my heart, she may well have just been now much shy of just and just turning 95. So in my heart, she's at peace in her 95th year. We went from planning her birthday party to planning her funeral. Um, and it's hard. And do you know what? My last clip of this, um, talking about my dear Nan, um, I got very, very upset. It's a very, very emotional. My Nan means the world to me. Family means the world to me. But but mum, dad, Nan, do you know what I mean? They're, they're the parent table for me. So heart breaks if anything happens, or if, even if I have a crossword and I say the wrong thing, it plays on my mind a lot. Um, but yeah, I'm so, I'm so blessed. So it's hard. I would have, do you know what? I always say, if the Lord would have allowed me, I would have held my Nan a lifetime. But I know in essence that that wasn't quite right. And I know that that's not how life works. However, it still doesn't make it any easier. So it was great to take this time. And um, if you want to know a little bit more about that, please do take a look at my previous clip. I, I put it on the end of this. Um, and I do talk about it a lot. And I do get upset. And I do get emotional. It was really hard. And some days I can just be looking at my nan's picture and I can just burst into tears. I really can. Um, yeah, it's just looking at my nan's picture there. And... Um, it is. But you know what? I, I try to think that, I try to think that, it's like my, my dear aunt, I love my auntie, and um, she said to me, do it for you, but do it for Nan also. I'm, I'm going to do these things in life. And um, my Nan always used to say to me, because she never had thought that um, she'd see me grow up. And we're back. Sorry, bit of a technical issue there. Um, so I was saying, um, my Nan was 67 when I was born. Um, so she always said to me uh, growing up, and I had such an incredible bond um, with my nan, and always with nan and mum, and um, and and um, she always said that I think the world of you, my love, and although I may never see you grow up, I'll always be with you, and I'll always be looking down on you, and um, and you'll go far. And, and she was always very, very certain that I would do well. And um, nan and I had a very, very special, special bond. Um, I always remember her with a smile, and uh, yeah, she taught me so much, so, so much, this has happened, blessed with parents, blessed with my nan, and an incredible family, and um, so I try to think positive, I try to think that, you know, what, you have to, you have to, it's, I'm never ever going to let go, and like I said to my nan the day before her funeral, when I went to see her in the chapel of rest, that um, I'm, I'm never going to let go of your hand, I'm never ever going to let go of your hand, and we just can't hold hands for a while. And um, and I kissed her on the cheek, and um, I held her hand, and I smoothed her hand, and I gave her eulogy at the funeral. And you know, I always remember her with a smile, and I always like to think that she's there always, and I feel her guiding me, and I feel <sighs> sometimes I'm more composed with it, other times not. And I think that's just life, isn't it? I think that is. But she's always with me. And you know, I think the most incredible thing in this world is the Lord bless me with my incredible parents and my incredible nan. And you know, for eternity, they will always be mine. So with that said, let's smile. So life updates. What's happening now? Okay, so what's happening? So shortly, we're going to be bringing a few different things to the channel. There's been a bit of a slowdown on the products I've been reviewing for hair, but there are, I'm kind of playing with a few things in the background. Um, so there'll be a few different hair reviews coming through. We're going to be going back to skincare. The Invisalign I've been wearing, I am, what am I on? 
11, 12? I think I've just changed to 12. I'd have to double check that well. Um, but that is going incredibly well. And bear in mind, we've only got 14. Uh, so that is... Uh, yeah, sorry. So I've just remembered. So yesterday I changed to 12. Came back, sorry, all over the place since I came back from COS. Uh, so came back uh, from COS on a Saturday. What are we now? We are... Tuesday, <laughs> Tuesday, and I've got a very quick short clip um, on uh, talking about my 11th aligner, which I feel a little bit of a cheat, unfortunately, just because the following day um, I am changing, uh, I changed over to 12, which was yesterday. So it's only a very, very brief uh, note, and that's me talking about uh, how to manage my liners in cars, which was a little bit of a he, but. Um, it was a bit difficult, sort of when you're enjoying foods and drinks and things like that, and you've got these aligners. So um, I don't mind telling you again, but you'll see it in the clip anyway. But that's going to be uploading after, so it's going to be a little bit counterintuitive. Um, but I would sit at the restaurant or wherever we were, and I'd discreetly, I'd always have like a bit a bag with me, and, um, you know, like a cross the body sort of man's satchel bag. And um, I would hold the napkin in my mouth, and I'd take them out, put them in the napkin, and hide them away. Um, but yeah, it'd be lovely to think next time I go, I won't have to do that. So we're going to be looking at the, the latest aligners coming up um, on my channel up to 14. So not many left. So a very brief one coming up for 11. I will do a more detailed one for 12 and, of course, 13, 14. We're going to be reviewing a few different things of hair products coming up soon. But I will be going back to skincare and motivational speaking. So really trying to get that sort of that burning light back into you. If you're feeling a bit flat, if you're feeling a bit down, or if you just need that little bit of inspiration in life, then I'm going to be bringing some things to my channel to be able to help with that as well. Okay, so I think that was just a bit of a brief update there. So we spoke about cars, absolutely amazing. If you're thinking of anywhere, else, anywhere to travel, then cars is absolutely beautiful, and I wholeheartedly recommend it. My dear nanny will always be my nanny, and um, it hurt that she wasn't here for her birthday. But we toasted to Nan, and, and I know she said the Lord up above, and she'll always be my Nan. And life is, life is, do you know what, at the moment, it, it breaks my heart that my Nan's not here. Um, I know, <laughs> my Nan always used to say as well, by the way, um, we, we, nobody could live, we couldn't live forever, otherwise the world would be overpopulated. Do you know, that doesn't sound too bad of an idea, really. Um, we always wish those people, magical people in our lives, don't we, that, um, we could hold them forever. Um, sadly, we can't, but we must hold in our hearts that life does go on and they are with us always. With that said, yeah, life is good. You know, work is going really, really great. I've had, um, of course, several promotions in the last six to nine months. So that's going really, really great now. My confidence is moving really, really forward with that. I do work in finance. I do work in accountancy. So as you can imagine, it's quite stressful. It can be um, quite stressful on the eyes as well. Lots of lines of figures and data. Um, and it is good. Do you know what? The only thing I probably would change, the team I work with are not very talkative and they don't really like to talk and have a chat and just be people. And I do miss that. I really, really do. From my previous career, I used to work in retail banking, a great big posh bank, which I absolutely loved. You can imagine if my subscribers know me. Um, and that was lovely. And I used to be working with all customers, every customer from every different background you can think of. And I used to be the first port of call as the meet and greet. And I used to do servicing at desks and in offices. And, and I loved that, talking about all sorts of things, mortgages, um, trying to get them on their mortgage journey and starting that process with them. Then they'd go off and see the specialist um, or sort of uh, lending, helping people realize their aspirations and their lives and getting people on the way with that, but in the right way, may I say. Um, and talking to customers, do you know, that's one thing, uh, seeing little ones, uh, getting their first accounts, and that used to be absolutely lovely as well. Insurance, the importance of insurance as well. And of course, those sad events of registering details of bereavements and those very sad cases of different things. And unfortunately, just the day to day issues such as frauds and things. So I used to love dealing with customers. And as I've come over in the last three years now, I've been working my role. Um, yes, I've had two promotions, but I've lost that aspect of dealing with customers and I do miss that. So whether or not in the future I'd like to go back to that, I would. Um, but of course, it's then what you do with your career. So it's, it's stressful, isn't it? And of course, the big thing coming up um, on the 2nd of July, I will turn 30. And you know, funny enough, I'm so comfortable with that. Do you know, I found it more daunting turning 25 than 30. Because I think in your later 20s, what you do tend to realise is that actually there's no rush. 
There's no rush in this life. And when you've gone through health problems like what I have and you come through them, which the physio and everything for my leg, by the way, is coming on really, really well. Um, and from all my surgery, my groin reconstruction, uh, if anybody doesn't know that, just so everybody can be on the same page. Um, and you're not caused out the world of good. I've never felt healthier there. Um, so yeah, that's great. But do you know, I'm not worried about it because at the end of the day, it is just a number. As long as our mind is healthy, as long as our bodies are healthy, health is so, so important, isn't it? I mean, we do take that for granted when we're in our teenage years, um, or just, we take so much for granted in this life. We really, really do. And I know people go through dark times and heartbreak and horrific times. I've been there myself. But you know what? There is light in the darkest of times. And yes, sometimes it feels that you're never ever going to get through it because you're right in the middle of that storm. But that storm does pass. And you do grow stronger from these events. You do grow a bit of a thicker skin to what people say sometimes. And sometimes people can be the cruelest ever and not think before they open their mouth. And do you know what? Sometimes you have to go through the rough things to come out the other end and be a little bit more resilient and be a little bit more stronger and be a little bit more hard surfaced uh, as to speak and, and grow from life experience. And you know, actually in the end, turning 30 is a blessing. You've been blessed with another year. You've been blessed with another day going forward. I always say that no one is promised a tomorrow. And if we're blessed with one, let's cover it with both hands and run with it. Um, yeah, this life is such a special gift it really really is and let's have faith in ourselves to reach out for it on that note i think that's a really really nice place to say god bless take great great care thank you very much um cause was amazing and if you can go there go there um bless my nan in heaven and always um i love her so much and yeah life is life is okay life is good life is good it is a blessing it certainly is a blessing so much love to everybody Really, really best wishes. God bless. Take great care. And I will be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.